finished and everything else is completely dead. But it'll have to wait and see because I'm surprised Boo's not trying to put on any pressure at the moment. He's just kind of, or they might be using his middle to try and do a bit of harass, check if there's any bases going on. Um, obviously he knows pretty much everything that's going on here and at the moment 6-2 doesn't know about this fifth base that isn't, or is just finished, but it's not got any units on the moment. He's going to push out again with all these units. Mainly because his plan to refort is being attacked, and a few Bainleys could basically take this down in almost one hit, although it would be pretty expensive, but it would probably be worth it at the end of the day because this gold. Still got quite a few minerals left, so we'd really want to retake that rather than just let it be. Oh, sorry, I'm missing the middle of the server here. They've taken down these, or oh, sorry, the trunk take on the middle tur missile turret, which has been repelled by all these SCPs, but also the SCPs have quite a lot of them. It's doing quite a bit of damage here, taking down quite a lot of Thors, but we've been losing a lot, a lot of mutilists. So, although we've managed to take the missile turret down in the end, oh, there's another one here, and despite the fact that they took down a few, our missile turret and quite a few SCPs, lost a lot of his mutilists there, and now he's taking even more damage flying past all these missile turrets, and I'm not sure that this is really going to be, he's not really going to be able to do much, even if he takes this out. Because there's Thor's moving into the main base and protect this, and the SCV's preparing the missile turret, and he's lost all his middle lists, and that was pretty much a waste. He was flown away there. Um, I'll just go. To, uh, I need to check the supply. Um, okay, so booze at 99, so it wasn't really a waste. He can just afford to stack those middle lists, can just take out the supply with other fresh units, more Zerglings, Banelings. So but pretty much he's got a bit of everything, except for the middle lists, which have all died, and. I'm really not sure why 62 isn't repairing this command center. And we've got a, another command center coming up to take a fourth here for 62 in a fairly safe expansion, but Booth cleverly positioned a baning just below it just to stop it landing. Which is going to be pretty annoying because it's going to have to send something over there, and he's sending three more orders over there just to take down this one baning. Which is really pretty annoying. And he's got his main of his army just all bucked up around here, and if Boo got dropped for his overlords, then he'd be able to pretty much just go. He hasn't even got speed on his overlord yet, but if you got overlord drop and overlord speed then you'd just be able to stick stuff in the main and just go to town on the main and stop all the production, but instead he's going to charge straight in here and these ultralists are really not in a great disposition, they're kind of all separated out a bit, although with the rest of the army coming to support now they're going to be able to take out the Thors a lot, lot easier and basically he's just steamrolling this entire army now and wow, loads and loads of infested terrorists, those infested have just got so much energy and with down by the positioning, as I said, a lot of it's been taken down, but he's still got all these units over here which are able to attack, so he kind of broke off a bit of his force from the main force, and while he lost most of his main force, he's still got a few just attacking this expansion. Although he's not really done much damage to the bulk of 60s, I mean, he took out quite a few Thors, and there are a lot of medevacs here, which is possibly far too many for this bio army. And he hasn't got any SUVs repairing these Thors, so this one Thor has got 19 HP at the moment. 2 1 upgrades, 19 HP, really close to death. So he really needs to get some repair going on now with the SCVs and I'll just check 44 against 82 harvesters now. So Boo's possibly got too many harvesters, and he might well I'd say too many. He's got a lot of income, but he kind of was missing out a bit of army there against 62, who's now going to vehicle weapons three, vehicle armor three, and we got melee attack two and carapace three coming up for Boo. So he's doing pretty well on the upgrades, and we got. So we've got the 4-1 Ultras, which is why they weren't quite so effective against the 2-2 Thors, which finally, or sorry, 2-1 Thors. And he really needs to get some SCVs on these Thors, because still this Thor's got 19 HP, and he's got far, far too many medevacs for this force. These medevacs are doing absolutely nothing. He's kind of sitting around, and while obviously they're useful against with the bio force, there's just not enough bio for these this number of medevacs to be either necessary or useful because they're just going to sit there with so much energy and it's not going to be used and it looks like it's going to come around and possibly try and take out this um, fourth base which is planetary fortress and he's just kind of sneaking his army right away around the gold and obviously nothing's on the Zelnaga watchtower for 6-2 so he's got no idea that this is coming and he just puts the scan down somewhere out of the way and all these ultras are just going to absolutely surround this and they're going to be able to take it out so quickly and I see it, they're dead and all these SCVs are probably going to get down as well once these ultras get to town work on them and that takes down another base and now he's going to walk into the main of the army and fungal, nice fungal growth there taking, stopping all the medevacs moving, stopping to be able to heal the bio forces because they're just completely in the wrong position now and all of these ultras are absolutely just trying to go to work but no, still still with the three damage upgrades these Thors are just far too effective even without the 
hitting the SUVs and I'm quite surprised that there was so much damage done and basically they just got wiped out yet again by these Thor Marauder army even though these medivacs weren't in position the Thors are kind of clumped together now it looks like 62 might decide to push out try and cut down the economic advantage over here of Boo who's still not spreading the creep particularly effectively and he could be using the overlords as Boo's creep or to generate creep but he's not doing that either and once again these medivacs are going up ahead of the army which is just pretty poor control because basically it seems like most of the army is just being grouped all together and just moving in one go and it looks like Boo's going to try and take this gold although it's going to get spotted straight away when the Thatchery go down through the Zonog control I've got some Lings running around here and they're probably going to go and attack over here where there's another command center going up and he, yep these medivacs once again fly ahead of the rest of the army and he's trying to apparently land his CC here but that's not necessarily going to happen there's a pretty kind of aggressive move here from 6 to trying to take the gold expansion on Boo's side rather than sticking to the expansions in the bottom left hand corner and we see these ultras now finally with these scores not being repaired at all by any of the SCBs at all during the rest of this game now they finally get massacred by the Ultralisk which were on 5-2 so we've got 5 armor with the extra Ultralisk armor upgrade 2 damage and finally they take it down and this command center is going to hover above this absolutely impotent uh, anti-air army or impotent against air army and I'll try and get a look at ooh, there's some Thors moving over here 3-1 upgrades and ooh oh but apparently I cancelled his second attack upgrade at 95% which is part of the reason why he's slightly behind on these upgrades so we've got three attack Thors and one armor against three on the ground and five two ultras and we've got an expansion coming down here from Boo which is pretty much what I think 6-2 um, should have done rather than going for that gold because now his command center is just hovering above the gold and he's going to send in some banelings against his planetary fortress or against the SCB line and if he, oh, he didn't manage to take out anywhere near as many as he could have but still he stopped mining, he's done some more damage and if we look again, 47 against 82 harvesters and we got 9 ultras again and 4 thors now out for 62 the gold to mine out if we check the income tab I mean 62 is not doing as badly as you might think considering he's been pretty much behind economically all this game is because that gold's given him quite an advantage in the past and he's just not really got many harvesters left and he's not been using them to um, repair any of his um, mech units and it looks like Boo's going to finally stack some drones against this um, planetary fortress just to free up a bit more supply so, um, oh sorry, army tab, so he's at 191 out of 198 against um, 118 of 60 so he's way way ahead although a lot of that is in the drone count so it's 50 drones sorry 50 workers more and so that's basically most of the supply difference at the moment which is why even though when they smash armies and boost at 200 200 and 60 is not he's not completely annihilating him but with this many ultras it's just going to be an absolute massacre against these swords assuming he manages to get a decent position although if he just comes up this one round then he's going to be pretty much um, choke pointed by this and it would be good if he sent some of his army around the backside come in and surround from here but he's not he's just going to send it all around here fungal on absolutely everything because it's also clumped together and these stores are going to town and they should basically be able to take everything down now and there's a lot of damage being done Ooh, that was a completely misclick so yeah sorry about that um, so now it's just a bit of the bio army left and with this many medivacs they're going to be able to heal pretty well and these ostriches just got to run away now because they just aren't particularly great against these um, marauders which can just steam and run after them and I wouldn't be surprised to see at least one more go down and part of the problem is he had so many medivacs but they haven't been able to do much and then they just died to the fungal and now they're completely out of position and you've got a lot of damaged marauders here and they're just going to have to run back to the safety of these medivacs so the medivacs are all on half health they've got so much energy and there's so many of them that it's completely almost one sided now there's just slings streaming in against all these marauders it's going to be quite funny to see because marauders fire so slowly against the links and Boozer decided to run away rather than try and take these head on probably because of all the medivacs which is just going to be able to heal them up pretty quickly so really he needs to do something like get some corruptors or some middle to try and take down these medivacs or get infestors back in use some fungal growth to stop the medivacs from being able to do too much and use up quite a bit of their energy just healing all the fungal growth damage so I think a fungal growth on these medivacs would wipe them out but he's just not really wanting to do that and he's just getting mass mass links and some more ultras and he's got five infestors uh, mixed up with this army as well and he's still got 80 drones and he's got so many bases that check the income tab he's got twice the mineral income twice the gas income twice the harvesters and basically finally after smashing his head against this army a few times this should basically be about it and you might say it's kind of him but 
kind of imbalance that Nintendo can just hold on like this, but that's the way it was in StarCraft 1 as well, and quite often you just see continued attacks from the Zerg using Swarm Defiler Link Ultra, and this time it's Ultra Defiler Link. Wait, sorry, not Ultra Defiler Link, it's Ultra Fungal Growth Link, sorry, against this Bio Force, and basically there's just so many medevacs which is almost killed. This bio army can stay alive for a pretty long time, but if you get another fungal off, all these medevacs are gonna go down and then the bio army will just be so easy. Well there's just so little left now but it's just a bit funny. And all these ultras are just having a bit of fun. Killing the supply depots, killing the missile turrets, killing the command center and taking a bit of damage from the on the ramp. With this tiny choke he's just gonna be able to keep keep attacking these ultralists and with these mortars at the front just being hit by so many medevacs they're just gonna stay alive forever. And all of these medevacs almost at zero health and just one fungal will basically take down almost every single medevac up there. And basically all these after all these marauders sorry would just be dead and now they're mostly dead. There's just hardly anything left, but it's just these medevacs which I've said all game that he's had too many, but at the end of the day, having so many they've just stayed alive all the time. Like even when they died, there's just been so many to take their place that He's just been able to keep healing his tiny, tiny bioforce, and he's got a command center floating above this, and we've got a base here, and 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 he hasn't decided to get the gold up yet. And these marauders probably going to be able to take the statue down fairly quickly, but I don't think Blue's really going to care because the space doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's got so much income, so many forces. Got 29 medalists, <laughs> and basically we've got just an all marauder armor here for 62 since he's just been facing against his middle, um, sorry, the Ultralisk all the time and Mordor's are obviously good against the Ultralisk and now he just flies in with some Mordor's and takes down every single medevac and he's just going to have to sit there with the Mordor's there can be absolutely nothing to touch his um, Mordor's and basically that's it <laughs> and 6-2 complaining that Zergs are in balance but basically that's what happens when you get a Zerg who gets really far ahead and you've got to say didn't have an easy time to win it even though he was ahead economically for most of the game and he was slightly behind on the upgrades quite often but basically that's kind of what Zerg is, you just got to hammer against the Terran all the time, wear him down and then eventually, eventually you're going to win and I mean one of the things I would say that I'd think that Boo could have done was to upgrade his overlords, get overlord speed, get overlord drop and then just drop some lings in the base, take down all of these production facilities which are all focused in the base and oh, if we took down the tech labs then he would stop marauder production, stop full production and um, basically that might have won him the game a bit quicker but at the end of the day with such an em economic advantage throughout most of the game he was pretty much always almost guaranteed to win unless he made some kind of fatal mistake and he did lose quite a lot of units kind of thrusting his head against the Terran he didn't necessarily engage in the best way like Sending all his middleists—I mean, sorry—all his ultralists up here, without trying to flank round and send some up here and some up here to kind of squash the Thor army, which is what you saw um, Cool do in the GSL. He manages to catch, managed to catch a large army of Thors out of position, had two groups of ultralists, sent one up in front, one up in the back, and the Thors just got absolutely destroyed, and there was no chance for them to do anything because they couldn't escape. So, few things that could be improved. Obviously the creep spread wasn't very good although most of the time he was fairly aggressive and he wouldn't be able to do much anyway because he would have been off creep heading towards 6-2's base who could have just taken out all the creep tumors since he had vision over a lot of the map with missile turrets anyway which would have been able to detect them. So you can't fault him too much for that since these expansions they didn't need defending. 6-2 didn't put too much pressure on the expansions which is possibly one of the mistakes of his game as well. So in the end Boo did well. He just kept the economic advantage and then towards the late game so kind of becomes a bit more powerful, great use of infestors to kind of stop the army and basically managed to win the game by making sure he kept the unit mix up, didn't forget the infestors and then at the end with the switch to mutalisks that just made it basically too easy to kill all the medevacs and all the marauders and game was over. So hope you enjoyed listening and hope you enjoyed yet another game of 6-2 against Boo from just a random ladder match and hope you're listening again.